When we consider big, hulking American cars, Dodge is usually one of the first few names that comes to mind, and the Dodge Durango certainly lives up to that. The truck-based SUV has enjoyed a long period of success, but recent reliability issues and the emergence of newer and superior competitors have left the vehicle vulnerable. There have been a total of 11 recalls for the 2014 Dodge Durango, 691 complaints, and 7 NHTSA investigations to date. The Durango's departments responsible for its electrical system, drivetrain, safety features, and exterior lighting have received the most owner complaints. In this segment, the Dodge Durango competes against the Nissan Pathfinder, Hyundai Santa Fe, and Honda Pilot. Let's take a closer look at the 2014 Durango issues and recalls. And before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Engine stalling and refuse to start. The affected owners claim that their cars repeatedly balked at starting. Additionally, the cars abruptly stalled while they were moving, which in a few instances led to collisions. The brand issued numerous recalls related to this issue, with the replacement of the alternator offered as a solution. Airbag failures. There have been numerous reports of airbag failure during collisions from owners. According to the reports, the airbags partially deployed during the collision, leading to injuries. Tail lights accumulating water. This problem has been experienced by many buyers of the 2014 Durango. All customers claim that the tail light unit's LEDs would blow and there was also a risk of a short circuit as a result of water seepage. Power steering failure. A few 2014 Durango SUV owners have experienced power steering system failures. The steering failures happened while the SUV was being driven, making it difficult to control. Accidental engagement of the transmission. Many owners claim that when they started their cars, the transmission engaged itself. Due to the failure, the affected vehicle's transmissions automatically switched to drive mode while they were parked. Engine starting on its own. According to one report, the owner's Durango's engine started on its own several times. The failure happened as the car was parked in the garage of the owner. Braking system issues. Several owners of the Durango have reported having a few problems with the braking system. There have been several instances of brake failure where the brake pedal has reached the floor and instances where the brake pedal has become very stiff after the vehicles have been parked for a few days, according to the reports. In some cases, the stiffening of the brake pedals also happened while driving. Recalls. There are 11 active recalls related to the 2014 Dodge Durango. Here is a quick list of them. Loss of power brake assist. The risk of an accident would increase if the water inside froze and limited the vehicle's ability to brake. Cruise control unintended continued acceleration. This issue could make collisions more likely. Vanity lamp short. Fire risk increases if the wiring for the vanity lamp shorts. Alternator may fail. The vehicle may abruptly stall if the alternator malfunctions, increasing the likelihood of a collision. Steering software may disable stability control. When the ESC is turned off while driving, there is a higher chance of a collision because the driver might not be able to control the car well. Airbags or seatbelt pretensioners may be disabled. In the event of a car crash requiring the use of the passive restraint system, there is a higher risk of injury to the occupants if the frontal airbags, seatbelt pretensioners, and side airbags are disabled. Radio software security vulnerabilities. Exploiting the software flaw could lead to unauthorized remote modification and control of some vehicle system, which would raise the likelihood of a collision. Alternator may fail resulting in engine stall. The vehicle may abruptly stall if the alternator malfunctions, increasing the likelihood of a collision. Additionally, there is a chance that the alternator could short-circuit, raising the danger of a fire. Incorrectly installed brake booster shield. The vehicle's ability to stop may be diminished if the brake booster shield was not installed correctly, increasing the likelihood of an accident. Alternator may fail. The vehicle may abruptly stall if the alternator malfunctions. Cruise control cannot be cancelled. There would be a higher chance of a collision if the car kept going or accelerated in spite of efforts to turn off the cruise control. Should you buy it? The Dodge Durango continues to be one of the best seven-seater SUVs in its class, and thanks to its luxurious interior, which is roomy and full of features, it also appeals to the general public. Despite enjoying a respectable amount of popularity, the SUV has had a number of reliability issues in recent years, and the current model is no exception. Finding an example without the aforementioned problems is difficult, and buying a used example may come with a number of risks. As an alternative, the Honda Pilot is a fantastic choice because it is much more dependable and receives fewer complaints than the Durango. Perfect.